Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Air and Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-July general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. Now, don't know this song. I've been getting like all the readings, almost all half of the readings that I've done today. You know, you hear like a hook of a song or you're out somewhere and you hear it playing in the background and things like that. And it has a catchy tune. So you, you remember the hook. That's what it is. I didn't know who the artist was or anything. I just put in YouTube the lyrics that I heard and I literally heard even the beat to the song, No Pain, No Gain. And so the song is called No Pain, No Gain. And the artist's name is Betty Wright. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. What I'm getting for you guys, Pisces, is... um. There's an energy, right? <clears throat> a lot of you all feel like, and, and this, I feel like it's subconscious because I know a lot of people are going to feel like they're being attacked. Mm -mm. This is not a personal attack at all. Not at all. I, I, what I'm hearing is that subconsciously, a lot of you all feel like you have to go through some type of pain in order to experience happiness. And that's exactly the vibe that this song is giving no pain, no gain. Like you have to go through this pain in order for you to, you know, experience happiness that's not true and i really don't i really detest that idea and not just in love but in everything in life like there everything has to come from struggle yes struggle is a part of the journey yes challenges is a part of the journey but i'm, I'm picking up very strongly especially in love a lot of you all may feel like okay i'm going to keep dealing with this i'm going to keep going through this because it's going to pay off eventually that's the the vibe i'm getting is the whole it's going to pay off eventually but I feel like a lot of you guys have exceptional, and I'm hearing exceptional love coming towards you that is not going to require for you to go through hell and high water in order for you to experience happiness is what I'm getting. Now, for those of you already in a relationship, it just feels like that's the that's the consensus that you feel like, okay, I'm going through this with this person because I feel like eventually it's going to pay off. That's what I'm getting. And for those of you who are single, I'm getting that, you know, subconsciously, the things that you have been through has kind of programs you. I'm hearing pro. Ooh. Okay, so I'm, I'm even seeing somebody, like, you remember from those, like, old back-in-the-day movies where it's like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do, and they're, like, doing this, like, fixing a robot or something like that, and this, this, what do you call that? Somebody in the comments knows. Um, What is the name of it, like, when they used to be in a, a army and services or something like that, and they needed to um get a message out, and they do 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 and it was just, like, this tapping type of sound that it was giving and that's how they were giving something cold you guys know what i'm talking about somebody's gonna leave it in a, um on in the description box below i mean in the comments and look at that just as i said that the candle just went out so like i said and just as this happened i'm getting a message that they're saying like cut it out stop thinking that you have to go through so much trauma so much struggle in order for you to experience happiness. And I also want to let you guys know, typically I always use a white candle because white candles is universal. It's neutral energy. Something guided me to use a red candle today. And I remember I was saying something about you all may feel like you have to go through hell and high water and pain in order for you to experience happiness. Red is the root chakra. It talks about your stability, your groundedness. A lot of you guys may have some, some off root chakras, right? You need to do some grounding exercises, some grounding meditations. Also, and I know this isn't just, this is a simple way to do it, but I feel like, and it's not going to be all the most powerful because you really need to ground yourself. Like literally go outside, put your feet in the sand, put your feet in the dirt, walk barefoot. I do this all the time in my backyard, but an easy way to do it is like color therapy. Also red socks, red shoes, red pants, something on your lower chakras that's red, red, um, anklets. You know, like if you get bracelets with like red jasper crystals crystals and things like that, put on your ankle, help ground yourself because not being grounded will make you feel insecure and make you feel like you're not deserving. Your root chakra talks about your security. So I feel like somebody is not secure in themselves because they feel like you feel like this is okay. It's not okay to feel like that. I'm just putting this out there. I'm not trying to preach to you guys. You guys who watch my videos know this is not an energy I put out here, but I'm being like guided to say this. That's not a secure energy. So feel as though you have to feel pain all the time. Also, somebody could be seeing red, like literally so angry that they put their self in a position where they were dealing with so much and they got nothing from it. So they are literally seeing red. And when that fire went out there, like I'm done with this. Okay. That's what I'm getting for some of y'all. But again, the message overall is that 
You don't have to experience all this pain, trauma, heartbreak, sorrow, and heaviness in order for you to be happy. That's not that's not the move. That's not the move, Pisces. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Let's change the card to the top and the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolute look at what's at the bottom. I can't make this up. Pinnacles, earth, ground yourself, okay? So as I was saying, um, we're going to change the card to the top and the bottom of the deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversal. So if we get any, once I start shuffling, I will read it as such. Now at the bottom, yes, you guys need the ground. Some of you guys can also have strong earth sign placements in your chart or it could be dealing with the earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? Now at the bottom of the deck, absolutely. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an uh, earth sign and almost said fire. So Leo, Sash, Aries for some of you all also, okay? Especially since the fire went out. So some of you guys, a fire or a situation is going out with a fire sign as well. Um, you just had the Ace, Ace of Pentacles. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have the Hermit right here. Virgo energy, okay? So somebody could definitely be dealing with Virgo or you can have strong Virgo in your chart, but more than anything, the Hermit is someone who's going on a journey for self. And that's exactly what I was just saying. I can't make this up. You guys watch me part this randomly, okay? It's time for you all to find yourself. You may be looking for things outside of yourself, but all the answers are within you. Because if you look at it, he's looking outside. He has his lantern lit so he can look for something outside of himself. But the path is always leading back to him. And again, I'm going to say no pain, no gain. I'm hearing the lyrics again, I'm like the hook of the song. I don't even know any verses of the song. That's all I'm hearing. So somebody literally feels like it's almost like self-sabotage, but I don't feel like a lot of you all are doing it intentionally. Like you feel like you're just giving, giving, giving. I'm going to tell you two of my, if you guys watch my channel, and even if you're new, two of my closest friends are Pisces and they will give everything. They will literally give the shirt off of their back for anyone, especially their love interests, especially their partners. So I can see how people would put, you know, you could possibly give so much of your energy outside of yourself and, and not focus on you. And the heart of the matter for you is what I'm getting also. Okay. So we're going to shuffle the deck up right multiple times until we get your major arcana, kind of, which would be the moon card. We get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we will get clarifiers for both. So let's part the deck randomly. Absolutely. Two of swords. Now you're realizing that you need to protect and shield yourself because you're realizing, and I want you really to pay attention to this. I pay attention to every detail in the cards, right? You see how his heart is like this diamond. You see how right here in the center of her chest, there's like a keyhole where her dress is around the heart. It's like you, you've you been constantly giving so much yourself that there's nothing left. His heart is a diamond. It's, it's like you there's nothing. There's a hollow hole there. Okay, and currently as I'm doing this reading right now, we are in a new moon. You see how the moon is right over our head. The moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about, fear, subconscious thoughts. And I feel like somebody's fear is being alone because if you notice right here, she's alone. And also with the hermit, this person goes on a journey alone. Somebody's feeling alone and they're fearing being alone. So they're, ooh, okay, so a message that I'm getting, and I know a lot of people are not going to like this. Somebody may be fearing alone, so they're going to protect this situation at all costs, even though it's hurtful. Even though it, it requires for you to always have to defend yourself. Even though you know the truth, because even though these are swords, I'm seeing these on each side of her like antennas. Like somebody's antennas are up, aka you guys are aware. And keep in mind, your major kind of is the moon. So you're aware and you're attuned with the fact that you're giving more than somebody else is willing to give you. Because in fact, his back is facing her. So a lot of you all are aware of this. But you're, you're not ready to see this situation in. She's blindfolded, you know. That's definitely for somebody out there. And again, I know that's not going to rub anyone the right way, you know. And you have the lover's card. I feel like there's just, oh, you love hard is what I'm getting. A lot of you, and I know that is, is a fact for Pisces. You guys love with everything in you. If you have strong Pisces in your chart, you love with everything in you. You're always in search of the perfect love or that the, the special love that you feel like resonates with you. Because again, a hermit is always in search and he's looking right at the lover's card. Some of you guys, it could be involving a Gemini, okay? Because you do have the lovers that is major kind of for Gemini. <clears throat> you also may have met someone during Gemini season. I'm hearing, okay, there was some type of engagement or a, um, look this, and the cards won't even go in. So there's blockages here. Um, engagement or... Someone may have moved in with someone in Gemini season. You guys just give so much of yourself. King of Cups, this is you guys' energy also. You know, give so much of yourself. Six of Cups, okay? 
And that's, uh, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, another a Cancer or another Pisces or Scorpio like yourself. But more than anything, this could be some definitely someone you have history with. I'm not picking this up as new love, okay? Six of Cups is always someone that you have history with, soulmate, past life, this lifetime, but somebody that you have history with, possibly one or two children with, or you may have known this person since you all were very young. <clears throat> but you know it's time, a lot of you all know it's time to move on. You had the Six of Cups and I had a Six of Swords. So some of you all may have left this person six days, six weeks, six months ago, or also in June last month, okay? So let's go ahead and get you guys Major Arcana. Wow, cancer season. So for a lot of you all, there was a shift in your understanding about situations in regards to love during cancer season, which we are currently in, possibly in June. Also, again, I'm going to say someone could have possibly moved out of a situation in June, cancer season is what I'm getting also, okay? So let's get you guys major arcana. That would be the moon. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after as those will be your messages and then we will clarify both. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, almost said <clears throat> Cancer. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fellow water sign, and that is at the very top. And as I stopped, you have the Judgment card, Reconciliation, bringing something back to life. We're already halfway through the deck, and we don't have your major arcana. So it's, it's like this situation has been going on for a while. So for a lot of you all, you've been with someone for a while, and this is like constantly going through cycles with this individual because you feel like it's going to pay off eventually, Okay. So, right before your cards, you have the Four of Swords, and then you have the Ace of Cups, absolutely, yes, ooh, and then the High Priestess, a lot of you all want marriage and long-term commitment, you could possibly also be married to this person or engage this person, so, someone could definitely be pregnant, I want to show you your cards, again, I'm going to say, no pain, no gain, okay, somebody feels like you have to go through the hardships, the difficulties, um, the times that make you question things and, and made you sit down and pray and meditate over a situation because you were going through something that was very difficult. And I know it has to do with difficulty because I always tell you guys, sword up, yes, sword down, no. Swords communication and mental with the swords down. It's like whatever it is mentally, it's like a mental fog. You see how you have fog and clouds over his head and around him. And then also the communication is not really there. You're not feeling heard. You're not feeling understood. But you feel like you're going to stick it out because he's still sitting there in a meditative pose. He's not walking away. You feel like you're going to stick it out because you want this true love. You feel like this is going to be something long term and it's going to be worth it. And that's definitely what I'm getting for a lot of you all. So let's get a clarifier for the Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, full card, absolutely. Taking a leap of faith into something new. And then also for some of you all, you're feeling like it's time for me to move away from this because I don't, I feel foolish. Okay, you have Aries and also Aquarius energy here with the full card. And that's major account, so that's definite energy. So for some of you all, it's definitely moving out of a situation. And I'm here bumping into, like you may really be out running errands or doing something. And you may run into new love, a new love interest. And remember, I kept saying some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fellow water sign. Okay, so let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Hmm. King of Swords. Again, I'm going to say some of you guys were definitely dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some will rise in Venus. I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself also. You see how this King of Swords is on guard? And if some of you guys are too guarded because of some past situations, but they're telling you it's time for you to move on, take a leap of faith into something new. Is there something positive that's going to come out of that situation? I'm also seeing somebody needs to purge. Like, just... I have a friend, <laughs> she's a Scorpio, and she tells me all the time, like, I will literally sit down and cry. This is what she tells me. I'll sit down and cry, just purge, so that I can get over the feelings and let it come out of my system. And I do feel like some of you all are good at doing that also, or they may be telling you that it's time for you to do that. And you know what? Look at that. You see this? Same energy over and over again. And remember I was saying earlier on that somebody needs to ground themselves. You see how he's sitting on the ground? He's grounding right here, meditating. So it's definitely energy that some of y'all need to ground yourself, especially if you know you for a fact you have an air in your chart, okay? Um, you or this love interest is first, middle, or last initial could be W, M, T, J, C, U, or G. Again, W, M, T, J, C, U, or G. You can hear from this person again on a Wednesday, a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Thursday. Or that could have been the day that you and this person last spoke or last connected. Again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. 
Let's get the clarifiers for the four swords. Um, you keep getting the fool in reverse, so someone may be saying that, you know, they're not, mm, somebody's saying, like, I don't want to start over again because the lies and cheating and deception comes to light. Somebody's ready to heal. Look at that. See? First, middle, last initial, B, T, J, C, U, G, U, W for someone out there. Again, Virgo energy. I always get this as you guys' energy. Also, Piscean, but have this in reverse. Somebody's not listening to their intuition or in the past they weren't. But they knew this person was lying. <laughs> I just heard caca. Like somebody speaks fluent Spanish, but somebody feels like someone is full of shit. They're saying this person, the seven of swords is definitely someone who's full of shit. Could have been a spouse, okay, for sure. Because you have the high priestess and you have the hair fine. The hair fine high priestess are spouses. Divine spouses at that. This is major arcana energy. So for some of you all, there could be a masculine, okay, predominantly Taurus energy possibly or something that happened in Taurus season even if that's not the case there could be a spouse who was being shady stepping outside of the relationship or situation is what I'm getting okay let's see bottom of the deck yeah and that's why somebody's gonna be single nine of pentacles single woman single man and just as I said somebody possibly is stepping out and that's not always the case for everyone but if you do notice she has her back turned to one two three pentacles some type of third party situation for somebody Possibly definitely involving a earth sign. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because you did just have the hair font that's Taurus. And then you have the earthy energy and you had a lot of Virgo in the beginning. Okay. So let's get a clarifier for the four of swords. And you guys seen what was at the bottom of the deck. So make sure you're watching. See? Can't make this up. Ten of cups in reverse. Somebody that you have a family with. One to two children. You have the ten of cups in reverse. The ten of cups is the happily ever after card. Happy home life. 10 is also the last number of any cycle, right? When we're talking about numerology and reverse is like somebody has decided to really just put an end to this. And I feel like this could possibly be you because you realize that this isn't your happily ever after. You had to focus and meditate on that. Just like how we had the um, Hermit in the beginning, someone going on this journey by themselves. You're realizing that you don't have to go through this pain and suffering in order to have happiness. Again, no pain, no gain. Some of you guys dealt with years of pain, possibly 10 plus, or going on 10 years of pain, trying to stick it out for the family. But a lot of you all have decided, like, you know what? I've sat down, I've meditated on it, and I've thought about it. I'm going to end this situation because I want to be happy. Definitely here in purging with this water. Because you see how the water is, is flowing out of the cup, like some emotional purging. Because cups, cups is always about the emotions and feelings. Bottom of the deck. And once you do, you here comes your will of fortune. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's written in the stars, right? It's already written. Every single one of these characters have a book. It's destined for you to have happiness. So this goes exactly back to what I was saying in the beginning. You don't have to deal with this ongoing pain in order for you to have happiness. Success and happiness is in your future already. Is what I'm getting. So that's going to clarify for the Ace of Cups. Again, make sure you are looking at the shuffles. You've seen what was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. See? can't make it up again a lot of you guys could be dealing with someone who has earth sign placements in their chart you have the capricorn energy with the devil it's in reverse upright there's a toxic connection toxic karmic connection if you look at him right here he's holding a scroll a karmic contract but it has flames on it upright they're still bound to this contract in reverse they're like get me out of this shit okay what did i just tell you guys earlier no pain is this not pain inducing no pain, no gain. This is exactly what I was saying. You don't need to go through this in order to have this. This is oppression. This is depression. This is being stifled. And then this is happiness overflowing. And they're saying that it's not required for you to stay bound to something in order for you to have happiness. That's not the truth. Some of you guys are definitely walking away from a long-term karmic situation. Something that's long overdue is what I'm getting for sure. Look at that. Six of swords in reverse. Uh, right moving away from something that's no longer fulfilling. And remember I said for some of you all, you say this situation for children. There's two children here. Right here, there's a small child. So again, some of you all may have stayed in this situation for your child or children. Cuts up right that's moving out of it in reverse. Somebody is still sticking through it. Or is deciding to just wait for a minute not to move. Like the chariot. And again, I'm going to say something with June. I'm picking it up. Something with June um, resonates with your situation. Also, you can have a six-year-old. 
I'm also hearing somebody could have twins. <laughs> One of the twins could be kind of uh, mischievous as all hell. I'm, I'm just hearing that. Especially if you have twins that they're Capricorns. Uh, and I'm hearing that one of them could be like somebody else said, this is a little devil, you know. I'm just I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Somebody has a mischievous ass child. Um, but also, more than anything, I just pick up, this is very clear what I was saying to you before. No pain, no gain. You don't have to deal with this because you have it in reverse. You don't have to deal with this in order to have this. This is destined. The universe has already aligned you with happiness because remember you had this card earlier. It's already been aligned for you to have happiness, fulfillment, success. And it doesn't require for you to struggle and stay in a situation for the children. Because when you think you're standing in it for the children to make them happy, it's not going to make them happy seeing you unhappy. It's just toxic. But it, also, I'm going to have to say and I have to put this out here. With that Wheel of Fortune that we just seen and then Ace of Cups, you guys have new love in your future. But you got to release these toxic confinements, these chains. You have to remove these restraints is what I'm hearing. Okay. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.